very good morning to you from Kuala Lumpur, host city of the Petronas Malaysia Open 2024. It's quarterfinals day here, and we're coming to you live from the Axiata Arena that has been home to the players and officials for the last three or more days. This is the first of 31 events on the HSBC BWF World Tour this year, culminating in the season ending HSBC BWF World Tour finals. And as you see walking in front of you there is the trophy that the top eight in the world will be gunning for. It's presented today by Mr. Kang Kai Singh, national junior player for Malaysia. But let's get you back to the day's play at hand. There'll be eight quarterfinal matches to be played here on court two, and it's split into two sessions. The morning session that's uh, just gotten underway at 9 a.m. local time will have three matches and then the evening session that gets underway at 3 p.m. local time will feature five matches. And here is a look at that first session, the morning session, starting off with the mixed doubles and uh, Terry He and Jessica Tan of Singapore take on a finalist in 2022 here in Deshapal, Puavar Nukro and Sapsiri Tara Chanachai, the number six seeds. That will be followed by women's singles and an all-seeded clash. Four-time champion Tai Tsu Ying taking on 2018 finalist Ha Bing Jiao. Mixed doubles will wrap up the morning session and this is an exciting one because it's the world champions in action. Seo Sung Jae and Che Yu Jung, the number three seeds, going up against the Asian champions in China's Jiang Zhenbang and Wei Ya Sin, the number five seeds. That's the morning session wrapped up. And then we'll move on to the evening session, as I mentioned, 3 p.m. local time, starting off with men's singles. And the All England champion, Li Shi Feng, takes to the courts as he takes on young gun Lin Chun Yi of Chinese Taipei. Women's doubles after that. And number five seeds, Zhang Shuxian and Zheng Yu of China go up against Arena Miura and Ayako Sakuramoto of Japan. Women's singles to follow. And Akane Yamaguchi. The number three seed from Japan, the defending champion, goes up against Chinese hopeful Zhang Yi Man of China. And then we'll have back-to-back -back men's doubles, and they're very, very interesting matches at hand. The number ones, the world number ones, Liang Wei Kang and Wang Chang of China, go up against former world number ones, now number five, Fajar Alfian and Mohamed Rian Ardiancha of Indonesia, who are the sole Indonesian men's doubles left in the draw, so they'll be carrying hopes of the nation. We'll end the session with uh, men's doubles as well, as uh, the number two seeds from India, Satwik Sairaj, Jaranki Reddy and Chirag Shetty, take on a newly formed partnership since about end of last year. Her Ji Ting and Rang Siang Yu, who I've mentioned, have made waves already in the men's doubles category. And we see that the officials are slowly making their way to court two. I can look at the mixed doubles draw. We're into the final stages, of course, the last three stages. And you see that the winner of the He Tan versus Puavar Nukro Terra Tanachai match will face either world number ones, Jung Su Wei, Wang Ya Chong, or the number seven seeds, Kim Wan Ho and Jung Naon. It doesn't get easier. And of course, in the final awaiting them, Possibly the likes of the world champions, the Asian champions, or even the number two seeds, Watanabe and Higashino. So, tasty lineup for the next few rounds, that's for sure. But they'll be focused very much on the match at hand and getting past the quarterfinals. That's the task for today, as we see Terry He and Jessica Tan lead the way. Following them, of course are former finalists at the Malaysia Open, Deshapal Puavar Nukro and Sapsiri Tara Tanachai. They got to the finals here in 2022 and lost out to Jiang Suwei and Huang Ya Chong, 13-21, 18-21. And they'll be hoping to not only repeat a similar run by getting into the finals, but going one better and getting their hands on the trophy, making their seventh Malaysian Open appearance. Last year, they exited Povar Nukro and Taratanachai in the semifinals to Watanabe and Higashino in straight games. Now, the best stat, and I'm going to get uh, someone's input here, my 
co-commentator, Gronia Somerville, who joins me in the hot seat once again. Good morning to you, Gronia. Good morning. Ready to, for it to heat up? Yeah, absolutely. And the best stat which I've saved for you is that Deshapal Puaranukra and Safri Taratanachai have always made the quarterfinals here at the Malaysia Open since their debut. That's they debuted amazing. in 2016. 2016. Yep. Eight years. Yeah. And they've always made the quarterfinals. This is one of those tournaments that they tend to go deep in, do well in. And, uh, well, once more, they find themselves in the final eight. Yeah. For Terry Hun and Jess, sorry, Terry He and Jessica Tan, well, this is a third Malaysia Open appearance. You saw there, their head to head is one, two, three against Bhavarnukra and Taratanachai. Looking to improve on that. Terry He, now 28 years of age, was born in Penang, Malaysia. Now he is, of course, residing and, uh, you know, a Singapore citizen. He is ranked number 22 in the world with his partner there. Jessica Tan has gone up as high as 13 in the world. That was back in January 2023. They've got a 66% win record in their career. But when it comes to quarterfinals and looking at their record last year in 23, they were two wins to two losses. So it's a 50% chance that they progress past the stage given recent performances. They beat Ye and Lee in the first round in 51 minutes, were pushed to three games, and then saw off the challenge of Junko and Pio Sampran of Thailand. 41 minutes there, straight games, but that second game was quite a long one, 23-21, as you saw there. Desha Paul Puavaranukro and Sapsuri Terachanachai, the world number six. Uh, Puavaranukro, now 26 years of age from Chonburi, Thailand, and his partner is slightly older than him at 31. They've, of course, been former world number ones back in December of 2021 when they reached the summit of the world rankings. Teratanachai from Udon Thani. They've got a 73% win record in their career so far. At the quarterfinals last year, they were not at their best. We've seen better from them on five wins to seven losses. So that is something they'll definitely be working on. They beat Tabling and Peak, a big win in the first round, 21-15, 21-10, in just over a half hour. And then another big win over Go and Lie of Malaysia in the second round. Again, straight game. So have made a strong start here, Boa Baranukro and Tara Tanajai. As we see the officials, Emi Sakamoto of Japan in the umpire's chair will be joined by Chaturanga Vishwanath of Sri Lanka in the service judge's chair. So fifth meeting for these two and Poavarnukro Taratanacha have won three lost one that one loss they did was at the French Open last year where Sapsiri had a knee injury in the second uh, game and had to retire and that handed Terry He and Tan Wei Han the win so it wasn't really a win-win it was courtesy of an injury Gronia and I'm sure for he and Tan, that is something that they know and are aware of and want to get a straightforward win, don't they? Yeah, I think quarterfinal of this level of event is super exciting. You want to make that semi and so they'll just be giving it their all today. And if they can beat the number six seeds at that, even better, right? Exactly, exactly. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, it's their first Super 1000 quarterfinal for Terry He and Jessica Tan. That's how big a moment this is for this Singapore pair. As we see them get ready to get our first quarterfinal here on court two underway. It'll be Terry He who serves to Sapsiri Teratanachai. And we've got a match on our hands here. Thailand. Sapsuri Keratanachai to serve to Kiyong Kai Teli. 
Oh, my apologies, I got it the other way around. It'll be Tara Tanachai who serves to Terry He as we get this quarterfinal underway. Service over. One, love. A nervy start at that. Hyongkai Terry challenges. Hold in. Ah, hold. Out. In. <laughs> Just confirming. In. She called it in. <laughs> yeah, line judge called it in. And Terry, he has challenged that because he thinks it's landed out. But what a time to challenge so early in the game. Yeah, I think he must be pretty confident in that to challenge it at this point. <laughs> it's one, one love up in the opening game. Not often that we see a challenge at this stage. It is in. So they're down the challenge. A challenge. The one, Singapore pair. Subs over. One all. Play. Extremely get hard to get past when she switched on in the front court. I think she definitely has one of the strongest defense in the women's game. Maybe not Seven the best mover. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was required from oh. Terry. He change of pace, surprising the opponent. But he did really well there to build the build the shot so that he got a shorter and shorter lift Ooh. each time coming back. Early errors Five, from the Thai pair as they look to find their ground, settle in quickly as possible. Oh, Terry He taking no prisoners at Six, the net. Yeah, he's been on fire so far these few rallies. His mid-court game is super strong. He can hit really hard, really flat, good quality from the mid-court with his drives, and he's moving forward really quickly and aggressively. Well, this has been a smashing start for Singapore. Look at that, 7-2 up, five-point lead. They've got just the kind of start they would have wanted against a higher-ranked pair. Don't allow them to settle. Eight, two. Seven points in a row now for he and Tan. That's the kind of momentum they've built up here. At this point, the Thai pair just kind of wants some rallies, so I think they can open up the court a little bit more and get into it, get into the groove of things. Seven's over. And not waste this Three, first 11 points eight. in. Not getting many shots back and not feeling comfortable. I don't think we've seen more than three or four shots per rally so far. Sometimes mixed can be like that, though, because they feel like they can't give the lift away, so they're trying to hit so flat, so tight around the net, like they're, that the uh, room for, that margin for error is so small that a lot of errors creep in, or they hit winners. Yeah, it's called out. Service over. Second Eight. service fault from Nine, the four. He did well to leave it as well, Terry He. Ooh, she missed it. 
Oh dear. Service over. Thanks. Yeah, the frustration. No. Obvious, because she knew she had it. <laughs> we all make mistakes. You get a little snatchy when it's very close to net because you don't yeah. want to hit the net. So you change your stroke a little bit than a normal kill. She makes amends straight away. Seven over. Ten. Five. I think right now the Singaporeans are just shutting down the mid-court, front court so much better than the, the Thai pair, I think. After this coaching break, they'll start to open up a little bit more and play a bigger court. They, they're just getting punished like that around the mid-court, front court, so they have to use the back corners now to create space to then come in and play the mid-court, front court area. Well, it's all gone their way in this uh, first half. 11-5 up at the break, six-point lead. They've made the brighter start, that's for sure. And we've barely had six minutes of play. That's how fast it's gone. After they come here, you got again thanks here. Because the ball already gone down. Yeah? Just focus all you play, discipline, no problem. Yeah? Back on court quickly. Terry here and Jessica Tan. They quick fire start. Yeah, excellent work by he. He did bulk of the work in that rally. Yeah, he's really on fire today, making all the right decisions, being patient, playing really well. You can see that the ties are trying to open up the court a little bit more, create that space. Just feels like. And I think this is credit to he and Tan, but it just feels like they've yet to kind of wake up. Mm. Yeah, it doesn't look like they have much energy. That explosiveness yeah. is missing. Yeah. Yeah. Over. Six, Sometimes when you are having like a bad day, a slow start, you have to artificially create that in a way. You know, just jump around, hype yourself up, even if you keep like miss hitting stuff or Make Slap your face a couple of times. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Whatever it gets each player going may be different, but kind of need to change something. Otherwise, you just keep Seven going over. deeper and deeper down the hole. That's now an eight-point lead. And I can tell you that Sapsuri Tanishai was at breakfast bright and early. At the hotel. What'd she have for breakfast? Well, I saw her pick up some noodles <laughs> while I was grabbing my coffee, as that is my wake up <laughs> technique. Um, but yeah, she was bright and early. She was up and about. Maybe the noodles were a bit too stodgy. <laughs> Over. Service is not Seven. clicking at the moment. Well spotted. Good defense by Dutch Paul there. Though. Terry trying to do it maybe a little bit too much. I Correct. Guess Jessica 15. needs to run in there. Kind of encroaching that space a little bit too much. Yeah, maybe a bit too quick for his own good. He's pumped up, maybe unwillingly extra pumped up with yeah. the way this game has gone. Yeah. 
working senses, for them. Yeah, senses that they could get this game quickly. Yeah. She was put on the back foot. That was some aggression there from the Thai pair. Yeah, that definitely brought her into the rally more in, in that one just there, trying to keep it away from Terry. That's typically how mixed doubles works. The girl's usually a bit weaker, trying to find the spots to target her. And flick serve. Well, not only are they Thanks. trying to target Jessica Tan, but look how close they're hitting the shuttles to her body. It's like really hard to play back when it's that close to you, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Good placement, a lot of pressure. I'm seeing some aggression from Deshapol on the backcourt. Those big hits that we're used to seeing. Quarterfinal since they debuted for Varanukro and Ter Teratana Chai, and they lost the first three quarterfinals 2016, 2017, 2018, Whoa. but then won the next three in 2019, 17, 2022, 2023. So they're on a three win streak in the last eight at uh, the Malaysia Open. Whereas it's a first time for he and Tan, and they're desperate to get further. Yeah, she's left it wide open. It wasn't level 17. enough in that sort of steep forehand that she tried to play at the net, that one there. Terry was trying to cover her, so they were just both caught on the same side. Oh. Yeah, they're definitely targeting her. Four of seventeen. The Thai pair doing well to get the attack and the initiative more in these last few rallies. At the start, it was Terry doing, doing everything, getting the attack. now for the Singapore pair okay. as they see their opponents slowly make a ground. Three points in a row now for the tie and they've won six of the last eight. Great backhand. So powerful and such good quality. 13. It's really impressive. Awesome. Yeah, Service over 18, 13. The good thing for them was they built big enough a cushion that even if the ties came back, still gives them some amount of room. That's over. Yeah. They'll be hoping at this point that they can 14, just get across the line. 18.
she read at that time. 15, 18. That's where she's super good, right? Yeah, she learnt from the previous time when he nearly took her head off. She was ready for it. <laughs> super alert. They've made it a three-point game, which, if you ask me at the midway point of this opener, wouldn't have thought possible. A nice drop shot, beautifully done by Jessica Tan. She got out of that defense Nine really well with this shot here down the line and then running in. Perfect placement between both the players. On the tee. And now the two away from clinching the first game. Big relief as well to get back on a winning point. Singapore just a bit 19. harder to get out of this, these fast driving situations. A Thai pair seemed to be able to handle those ones a little bit better, be able to turn it or get it back over to neutralize it. Nice return. Puts it away. And the front court. I was going to say that they would love like a quick, easy point right now, the <laughs> Singaporeans. And Terry produced it with that net touch return perfectly. So on the first game point, he and Tan convert, and they've got the advantage over the number six seeds, 21 16. It was a superb start by the Singapore pair. And that's what they needed to hold on here as the tie mounted a comeback. But it is advantage Singapore. 17 minutes played. It's 21-16. ตอนนี้หน้าต้องบีบหน้าบีบต้องหน้าเร็วหน่อยเข้าใจป่ะเพราะอะไรต้องสร้างเกมบุกเองบุกที่ไรได้แก้มตลอดเลยแต่เพิ
was in France that they found themselves a game down for the first time and uh, Love. it was 21-18 that they lost that game we're down 11-15 when Tara Tanatai called it on the match said it was time to rest her knee so to come back from a game down and win it in three is a new situation for all four players in this matchup Terry and Jessica did finish on some wins in India at the end of last year so I think that could give them some good momentum and knowing that they beat a few good pairs over there as well would take them into 2024 feeling really good Service over. One, two. Yeah, the Malaysia Open, these two. And uh, met in the second round when the Thai pair won 21 12, 21 13. And that sort of ended he and Dan's campaign here in Kuala Lumpur last year. That's over. Three, four. Surprising that they made an aggressive start here. The world number six. They need to, of course, get on top of their opponents. But knowing that this is a must-win game for them. I think as long as the Singapore pair can uh, stay within touching distance, the pressure will build. Well to stay in that rally, that's Terry. He I th thought there were a couple of moments of hesitation on his part. Yeah, he looked like he was leaving one and hit it last second. There was some good lift quality from Detrical there, making Terry he not have much choice to not being able to hit hard, having to just Tuck place city. it down because it hits Ready. lift quality was so so far in the back. It's a lot of chat between Bova Nukra and Taratanajai in between that point. Oh he missed it and that's the pressure showing. Five, oh. Yeah every shadow that keeps coming over it's always another opportunity for your opponent to make a error like that even when it's so high and seems to be able to put away. Did not go his way that time. Oh. 
Sub Silver. Six, five. Already, this is a different game being played than the first. We're seeing longer rallies, we're seeing all four get involved. Service over. Six. Oh. Attacking the backhand, and he did it well. Yeah, good placement Seven, there. Sapsuri's so, so strong if it's to the left side of her body. So that underarm spot is definitely where you'll find some more errors. First tournaments of a season, it kind of is important for players to kind of set the tone, get their momentum. So they really want to impress, do well. And if it's a Super 1000, the stakes are even higher. Landed in. Sub's over. I think Sapsuri could have got that, but she thought Richard Paul was oh. still behind her, but he was off on the, the carpet to the side. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, where are you? <laughs> he's, by, he's by the rocket bags. Like, I was trying to get back in. I was so far away. Yeah, he was heavily committed to the previous shot. Oh, fantastic defense. How about that? From Nine, Terry, he. Eight. He was unmoved. from Povar Nukro. This is a good rally. Need the pair giving in. Landed in. And a big yell from Terra Tanachoy to follow. <laughs> He wielded a fair bit of power in that smash, Terry He, but when it came back, that's when he decided to let it go to a certain extent. 41 shots, that one. She's just so strong from that defensive position when it's in front of her body. I think if he can like slice it down to her underarm side or 
something around that side of her body more, then errors or shorter lifts will come a bit more easily. It's gone wide and therefore Kuovar Nukur and Tara Tanacha hold on to a narrow lead here at the mid-game break. 11-9 up. We've had exactly half an hour of play. But this is all much better for the number six seeds here. Two-point lead. 13 minutes of play in the second game. Well, two points is not a lot in badminton. For Varnuka and Tara Tanaja, it's about holding on to this lead that they've created for this second half, pushing this match to a third game. They've had to work hard, there's no doubt about it. Subsport call. Too high. Subs over. She's had a few Ten. service errors Seven. in this match. Should be ruining that one. She did start flicking a lot more after those two service errors in the first 11 points. So I don't think she's feeling super comfortable in herself. She bounced on that one, Jessica Tan. See there that they were able to get it down to Sapsuri's forehand side and then it brought in some more gaps after that. Level scores. Oh, what a shot. Such good touch around there. And they're able to get so much power. Oh, lovely shot again. Still going. feel like this is match point and everything's dependent on it. Ooh, she left it late. How are they still playing? alertness all around that's gone out he's going to challenge it he was going to finish that one one way or another <laughs> it had gone on long enough Terry's sitting down now <laughs> I think that's warranted yeah he missed it by a wide margin. We've had challenge enough. Remaining. So they've got one challenge remaining. Over. And our point down. 12, 11. That was quite the exchange. 85 shots, that one. No one was willing to give in until Terry He took it upon himself to close it out. And that's where the mistake was made. Oh, 
Oi, he left it too late. 13, 11. It's just so impressive the quality that Terry can hit with when he's so low in the midcourt or the down the back. It's such good flat shots and cross shots from just everywhere. Oh, finds the corner. That's that okay. time, he gets it right. But it was the way he dragged 13. both the Thai players in the front court with that drop shot that set up the smash. Back to a one-point game. Wide. 13 all. Every exchange has demanded their full focus. Can't afford to blink here. Single doing really well in the first three shots. Pretty stable and consistent throughout this whole game. Oh, service over. Missed that one. 40 all. Looks a little bit lazy. You didn't track back enough. Yeah, he didn't want to kind of turn. He had time to turn, but he just wanted to do a little round the head snap. He has been running around the whole court a lot. <laughs> he so has. He wanted some time off, maybe. <laughs> Service over. But these quick points are certainly helping. 14. Don't want to get dragged out in those 85 shot rallies too often. Exactly. So. What are they going for her? That's what they've decided. Time is over. 50 all. She did well to hang in there for as long as she did. Not easy when the shuttle's coming to you at that pace. Yeah. For like smaller, more petite girls, which she kind of is, um, they have to be really good at turning the shuttle and just getting it diffused to the sides because they don't have as much physical power to get it over. Otherwise, if they are able to go over, it has to be kind of a full body swing so that they're really like ready to just whip right up to the back. Whereas Sapsuri, she has a little bit, she's a bit bigger, got a little bit more hand power. She can sometimes go over just with her hand in those stressed positions. definitely struggles the most oh. with. So Terry just needs to kind of find it a bit more often to get some errors out of her. Because otherwise, if it's anywhere else in there, really, she's pretty flawless. Yeah. 16 all, five points away from Play. taking this second game. But could go either way at the way things have played out. They've changed the lead a few times. Nice left, really high. 17, 16. Well, Nukro couldn't quite get a handle on that one. Here, this one. 
four points away from a famous win are he and Tan. Really nice serve variation there. He mixed it up with the cross the body, just taking Sapsui a bit 80, by surprise. 60. And when that happens, you just kind of react when you're receiving if you're not really prepared. So really good decision there by him. Now it's gone wide. Tip for tap. 17, 18. One point game. He and Tan three away from a place in the semi final. Ooh. Put too much in it. And Deshapov has decided to challenge. It's called out. The line judges have been pretty good in this match so far. Haven't got it wrong. But the Thai pair will certainly be hoping this is a moment for them, but it's not. It is indeed out. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Subs oh. over. The drama continues. 1917. Do you think they can? Two points? Yeah, I think have they, they played at that play. level? I think they've been playing at that level this whole match. They've been pretty stable, pretty consistent. It's the, the tie pair that's up and down. So, yeah, we'll have to see if they can switch it on for these two points to get it back to, to equal. Oof, he missed that. That's a little bit That's of a gift. Over. From Terry He. 80, 19. Who's Thinking. not put much, who's not done much wrong, but. Thinking a few shots in that rally, he could have tried to find Sapsuri's underarm defense a bit more. <laughs> he went to her like good side and then he went to Dechapol, but just that little bit more across to her underarm. I think is a really good placement that he can exploit more. That's a good one. Oh, it's still at it. This is a big point. Oh! Saved it. Dash up for our new crop. This is where they are so strong for oh. Varnukra and Teratanajai. They will not give in. Put it right back into play. Yeah, they did so well to stay in that. You can sometimes see that often happen in matches where the underdog is up leading and they leave stuff that's going in because they're just so desperate. They're like, please be out, please be out, just let this be out. And they just want it to be out so bad that they try to manifest it and it's not. That back line is definitely proving to be a big test for he and Tan. And that's a huge point for 
Nagpur Varnukra and Taratanachai. They were 17 19 down. They've now leveled the scores, prevented match point from coming up. Singapore would like some quick around the net points here, I think. Oh, like that. Yeah, beautiful. That's where they're strong. They've been strongest in this game. And I think if anything, like Terry and Jessica are starting to look a little bit tired in the big rallies where Terry's having to jump everywhere. So if they can make Thailand play this type of game with them, they're, they're winning those more often than not, I think. So a match point opportunity for he and Tan, a sole one. Can they convert? Is he going to try to do something sneaky? That's the question. <laughs> <laughs> Terry can be a bit cheeky. Yep, there's a drive serve. <laughs> I think I know Terry too well. She was ready for it. They're making him work, that's for sure. Oh, she saved it. Oh, oh my what a point. God. What was that? That no was amazing. Way. There is no way that happened. <laughs> that is insane. Oh, that was epic. <laughs> oh, my God. I still can't believe that happened. What did they ha What just happened, Vanya? <laughs> Sapsuri hit a net roll, <laughs> Jessica got it back over, and then Sapsuri hit it in the net. Oh my god, what a never die attitude from Singapore there. That is an insane point. It went on long enough, but yeah. then the way it ended, they couldn't believe it. All four of them on the floor. And it was. But really, just <laughs> the smallest mistake yeah. from Subsiri Taratanachai. She did so well to get that. Yeah, she would have thought shot. she had it as well. Oh my gosh. You got to feel it. But it is he and Tan who make it to the semi finals for the very first time at a Super 1000 event. What a way to do it. 21 16, 21 19 in 49 minutes, and I'm out of breath, so I'm gonna take a break. <laughs>
All right, we're coming to you live from the Axiata Arena for quarterfinals day here at the Petronas Malaysia Open 2024. A lovely day in KL. And uh, what a match we've just witnessed on court two here.